Well, we begin with that massive fire on Hubbard near Hoyne. You might have seen the smoke yourself. Let's start with our Jermon Terry, who just heard from investigators about an hour ago. Jermon. Joe, a massive fire and a massive response from CFD. Some 300 firefighters responded out here in 80 different pieces of equipment, many of them still out here in this 10 o'clock hour. Now, this business, which called fire, is a pallet company. Now, that's all wood. And right next door, a diesel mechanic company. CFD wanted to make sure that this fire did not jump next door because that would have ignited things even more. But right now, that pallet company is destroyed. Here's what caught everyone's eye in Westtown and beyond. I saw the huge black plume of smoke. Thick, darkening smoke filled the Chicago skyline Tuesday evening. This was an enormous fire to start with, and it only keeps getting bigger and bigger. Ryan Corsaro lives in the area. He recalls the force of the heat. I was a block away, and it felt like you were sticking your face into a fireplace. He stepped outside just as the fire started at the industrial wooden pallet business. I saw those pallets stacked up at least 15 feet high. Wooden pallets, you also got trucks. Chicago Fire rushed to the scene, but with the wood burning and other possible combustibles on and near the property, it made getting the massive fire under control difficult. Uh, my husband actually called me. He's like, can you take a look outside? And I'm like, what is going on? And he's like, I think there's a fire. Brittany McCollum captured these images from her fourth story rooftop. Flames are were so high. I'm on the fourth floor and um, you can see the flames above like a fourth floor story building. The intensity of the smoke even showed up on first alert radar. The green is the smoke picked up on the radar. This plume blanketed West Town. The response escalated to a four alarm fire. CFD called it a hazmat scene due to pallets and other materials fueling the fire. Whatever was burning left residents worried about what was in the air. It's really not good for like the elderly or people with asthma like me to really be outside in this. Now, two firefighters went to the hospital with none life threatening injuries, nothing too serious. Now, to help put this into perspective, get this 20,000 wood pallets were stacked about six to 10 feet high. All of it burned tonight. And right now, that is why CFD remain here on scene. They have to make sure that no hot spots flare up overnight. Reporting live, I'm Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Yeah, it was like a huge bonfire, Jermont. Thank you. Our email box was full of videos and photos like these. Lots of folks wondering what was going on as we gathered information about the fire.